Hi everyone, bonjour, Rachel here from Déjà Vu Thrifting. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I don't have my braces today, but as you know, I'm having difficulty with my hands. So I will do like I explained last week and um, I am going to do the haul at the end with some pictures. I can, I don't trust my dexterity and I cannot open my hands more than about that. Anyway. Long story short, uh, I'm waiting to, uh, I'm on a waiting list for cancellation of an MRI. My doctor's trying to put me in uh, urgently. So we're still waiting. Today, however, I am going to bring you uh, somewhere where I went on September 3rd. I was on my way to Quebec City uh to watch or uh, to see my uh, daughter marie pierre that you've met before uh she was in a musical professional musical uh it was it's the french translation of the sound of music and it's called la mélodie du bonheur and uh she was in that show so i did the the four and a half hour trip to go see the show but on my way i i left a little earlier on my way i went to uh, an outskirt of montreal in the video of last week you saw i went to a small thrift shop today we're in that same mall i was in but it uh it's uh it's like a mini antique mall and it's many people in one one store with little boots so it's like a mini antique mall and um it's called uh, Antique and Vintage Plaza. So we're going to go in there and I found some little treasures. I'm telling you already, I'm so excited. And um, I believe I spent about 60 something, $68. Um, it was originally 81 and I got a good deal for 68. So I was very happy. And then I'll bring you inside and I'll show you what I got. Allons-y. <laughs> So I am at this mall, this mini mall, very small mall, and inside, and I am in Pointe Claire, just outside of Montreal, inside the mini mall, there is this Village Plaza Vintage. Looks really, really nice. Let's go in and see what we can find. This is a very, very nice kitchen planter, $25. There is quite a bit of crazing on it though. This is actually lovely. Okay, so oh, I like this here. These are planter's peanuts. Little That. That's a set of four. Is it three dollars each? Oh, it's three dollars each. Okay. I thought it was three dollars for the set. Naturally, always looking for a bargain. So, Ooh. this is a nice tin. Seven dollars though. This is not Murano, $25. I like this brush. This one too. $15. This is really nice too. This would glow for sure. At as is okay. Yes, I see. There's a chip right here at the end. It's a shame. There's another paperweight here at forty dollars. These are the red rose tea. Um, made by Wade, most of them. Oh, little 
perfume bottles. This one is absolutely darling. It's so small. Royal Tins. Lots of nice tins. I like that uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Bank. And then we have this beautiful black cat teapot. Absolutely gorgeous. I really love this. Is that a deal? No, it's not. How much? How much? Oh, $65. Yeah, they're certainly not thrift stores. Prices. <laughs> There's a Bugs Bunny plastic lunchbox for $25. Little kitschy. How much is that? Oh, this is Google. Okay. I love this little bug. Sleeping in a basket here. It is. Five dollars. Wow, I like this bangle. Fifteen dollars. So many nice things, but for me, I have to have a good um, profit margin. And so far, this is definitely jade. $60. Jewelry. Oh, this this little guy. Oh, it has a massive crack there. Oh, that's too bad. This little kitten there. Fifteen dollars. It's very, very sweet. Let's not break anything. Albums and This is another boot, so each boot is a different person. And then we'll see if the prices fluctuate. This is the glass elephant, $30. Oh gosh. $35. Well, that would be wonderful for my grandson. But I don't think I'll make him play with that if I pay 35. <laughs> now we have this. I can't make the. It's it seems to be papier mâché. It's really nice though. There's no price that I can see. Oh, cameras. This is. These are for lids. <laughs> what you hear in the back is a lady. She seems to be uh, Italian from the accent. She's looking for a souvenir piece from another country. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. 
It's ten dollars. So we have some Pyrex, beautiful walking sticks here too. Now we have this beautiful decanter here. I don't know what the maker would be. It's gorgeous. Another paperweight. Calls to me. What is this? Oh my god. That's like an African hmm? with no, a bone so handled. Oh. However, one of the cone picks is broken. Oh, that's really nice. There's so many beautiful things. But for me, like I mentioned, for profit margin, there's a lot of the things that I cannot uh, buy at the price. They're, they're really at retail price. Oh, this is nice too. How much? $20. This is 30 as well. Control bubbles. Oh, oh, this is lovely too. Cloisonne, fifty dollars. Look at this vintage necklace. Wow, that's really nice. Hundred dollars. Okay. <laughs> oh my God! Look at that tea set. What is it? What is it? Sixty dollars. Ten dollars. That would be Murano. Sixty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> that poor lady. She's in here and she's looking for a souvenir, but she thinks it's gonna pay a couple of dollars. Oh wow. I like this. Fifteen dollars. Oh look at this one. I love this one. Twenty dollars. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Check in jill, lemon flavor pudding, and not pudding jello. <laughs> this must be a one, would it? Oh, yeah, a one, yeah. I'll be taking that, so I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to do a little pile by the time I got up. There's another very lovely planter. So $25. $25. Oh, there's a Polichinelle mask. Look at this. Obviously hand painted, kind of watercolor. And $40. That's very, very nice. <laughs> oh, I see Donald Duck here. I think it was recently somewhere. 
Should have gotten that Mickey Mouse, then I would have had the Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse. It's okay. Petro. This is no, I $70. Oh no. Petit souvenir. Let's look here. That's a third vendor here. Hand painted. They are Pendle. Wait a minute. Pendle fan? Okay. Hmm. No. Well, this is a shoehorn, I would think. Or a metal opener. It looks like a shoe. But nevertheless, twenty dollars is too much. Three. This says, hmm. Wait a minute. Saint Raphael. Saint Raphael. Cobalt blue. There is. There is a big chip here for $10. If it would have been in perfect condition, I would have taken that. Okay. Let's check out. Yeah, that too. I don't know. I know in Canada, but I don't know in the States. We had, um, back in the 60s and 70s, it was sold with mustard inside. And then when you finished it, you wash it and you have these little juice glass. So in a previous video, when I mentioned that on Saturday nights, I used to uh, watch the first period of a hockey game on Saturday with my dad. I would have a little bowl of the Fiesta chips and a little glass of Coca-Cola in one of those. Brings back a lot of memories. Religious piece here, and we have the Vaseline or uranium glass here for 18. The glass here is 18 as well. It's quite a bit of 18. Want to see? 12. This is a little. Is it fifty dollars for the set? Is it what? Is it twelve dollars for the set? Hmm. Ten, ten. How much is this one? Is this 12 for the both of them or because they were like that labeled like that so i'm not i think so you think so yeah is it 12 dollars for the for yeah, the yeah, both so. like the saucer, saucer and the cup yeah. yeah yeah absolutely okay so you want yeah to take that? i'm i'm putting stuff in the front <laughs> and keep on going <laughs> thank you now we have a big light set of forks here but for twenty dollars i already have a lot of um utensils for sale now this is jadeite jadeite sixteen dollars is it sixteen dollars for everything is it oh no 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 okay sixteen for the cup Wow, that's cute. <laughs> that tooth is twelve dollars. That's really nice. And we're getting you know, over twelve different vendors, and everyone's got a little bit of a different case. Canadian oh, really fuses. Oh my gosh! A lot of really old stuff. I mean, the old stuff. They have right back. A lot of pop Quebec pop license plate. I have an Ontario license plate for sale for the past oh, yeah. what eight months, I think. Let's go down here. What is this? 
This is a hat. No, oh, okay, yeah. That's an awful lot of crazy. No. Ten dollars. Hmm. I'm not quite sure what it is though. Three, six of these. Those lovely little cow pepper shakers. Ladybug with a hat in the shoe. Now, that's twelve dollars as well. Hmm. I don't know. Half ass friends. <laughs> I love this. Oh my god. What? This is funny. Ten dollars. And it is in Japan. I'm taking this. This is so fun. And then... What? Fifteen dollars. It's quite interesting. I just don't know. The shape is so weird. They're unusual. Is that Murano? It is. I'm afraid to look at the price. Turn around. <laughs> it's forty dollars. Okay. This I like this too. $28. Very nice. This is almost like a little cupid. Seven dollars. Japan. That is so cute. I'll think about this one. My little toilet bowl. And then wow. This is an owl worked into a rock. Wow. There's a glass. Oh no, that's a ceramic shoe. Shoe brush. And we have some cobalt. Oh, is that what I picked up? Atalation Army? No, it's similar, but it's not the same. Could be a Anchor Hawking, although there's no markings. And then we have some peach luster wear from Anchor Hawking. But there is a lot of paint. Faded. Oh, look at this Hamilton peach. It's a uh, yeah, milkshake. Milkshake machine. Five dollars each, five dollars for the pair. Poisson. Sorry, I said it in French because the gentleman speaking French in the back. So it is, yeah, it's made out of. What is it made of? It almost looks like it's alabaster. $55 though, it's a little too much. This is $70. Now, this is Banam Carnaval. Now in Quebec, especially in Quebec City, there is a winter carnival, and this guy is the mascot. And he's been, Banam Carnaval has been there since, gosh, in the 50s maybe, 60s. Is a whale. Wow. Twenty-two dollars, but is it an ashtray? Yeah, it is. It's a whale ashtray made of metal. Okay. That would be a christening dress. Wow. But look at the hanger. Can we talk about this? Look at this. Beautiful. Vintage brooch. Wow. This one's lovely too. 
$22. Absolutely. $18. Royal Winton in Glen. What does it say here? There's a lot of paint missing. No, it's nice, but if it was half that price, I would take it. It's just a little too much for me. This is Murano. Did that finish up? $35. I have enough for one glass. Look at this cute little deer. Little baby. $30. And it is. It is royal. Wait a minute. I can't read it. My eyes are not doing it. That's really nice. Okay, there's a cap. Twenty-five dollars. That's really nice. Look at this. That's beautiful. Twenty dollars. And this one too. That's absolutely lovely. Oh wait, I see this. Oh my god. I love this. Oh, there's some earrings, patching earrings. Are you kidding? Five dollars for everything? Really? Is it really five dollars? Oh no, twenty-five. I thought that was too good to be true. Put that there. Now we have a cute little turtle brush here. Twelve dollars. And then Nick Spender here has a chicken issue. I like this tin. There's something in it though. What is in there? Oh, hello. What are those? I mean, do what those are. England. So, for ten dollars, you get those. And you get the tin. This is. Look at that tin. I mean, oh my gosh. There's a little thing here. And a couple of little scratches right there. But look at that little face. Seven dollars. I love it. I just love it. I love it. I'm taking that. That is cool. Ten dollars. I also have a lot and lot and lots of old photos that type again. I'm always putting that on the back burner. Because it's so small and it's it takes so much time. However, it's easy to ship and list some. This is made of. So they're seven dollars each. They have a ribbon to hold to hang. Now, what did I see here? This. This one is cool as well. Four, twelve, and this one is fifteen. Hmm. Here's we have the banana carnival again, right there. Jolly fellow. Okay. This boot seems to be a little bit more um, reasonably priced. Let me see this. This is to put a pan in. Oops, there we go. Let's look up there. We have Royal Salute Scotch Whiskey. Oh, oh, look at this. Is that a planter? It is. 
Oops. 15. Mm. Let's inspect that really good. It does say. Ruben? Ruben? No. I can't tell. But it's cute. Definitely vintage. I'm gonna take this too. $45 for this ceramic 1970s canister set. And then we have this little bird here. That is so cute. Little mouse. Oh, my mom had one of those owls. It's fun when you go to these shops and you see, oh, we had that at our house. I had that in my car back in 1976. <laughs> and it was red. Back in my wild days when I was driving a Camaro. $25, that's nice. Oh wow, this is really cool. I don't, I'm not too fancy about the color though, but I would think white would have been such a nicer color for a swan. A beautiful swan trinket box, $35, yeah, no. Unfortunately, no, this is really cool. This is shell, I think. Oh, wow. That's gonna be expensive. Check, 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 check. 75, yeah. Unfortunately. Oh, I have one like that, but it's um, it's for sale and it's a um, a seashell, pink frosted satin glass. On that. And I thought it was for a tea light, and a tea light doesn't fit in there. So what you do? You know when you have those big candles, those big jars of candles, and at the end there's some leftover. Just warm it up and pour her in there with a new wick and you have your own little candle. That's what I did with my this cute little set. Japan. <laughs> Barbershop things. That's a lovely little wallet. That's another nice tin, probably expensive. Oh, 15. Hmm. But there's damage. You know, when I want to pay up like that for an item, I expect it to be like almost mint condition. That's nice. That's Ardina Invisible Veil. Hmm. What is that powder? Elizabeth Arden. on that though. Oh, five dollars. Hmm. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. I know that uh, Kate from uh, Follow That Bug would like that. <laughs> oh, that was fun. That was what was keeping us busy in the car on those infamous trips with my parents. <laughs> we would go to Maine or Vermont. My dad used to like to go on those little trips, but it was very stressful because we couldn't talk when he was driving. <laughs> Pastille. For the cold. This clown is scary, actually. He looks like the guy from it. $65. Oh, I like this one, see? America's Smoothest Smoke Velvet. $20. Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. Mickey and Minnie? Oh, no, two, two Minis. $15. This is a whale dolphin fish something. That's cute. 
Tale des Hommes. Um, so that was the um, 1967 um, expo here in Montreal, to which we went, and I got lost. I was seven years old. Lost for about 10, 12 minutes, I'd say. And I was panicking, so I was starting to look for another family. <laughs> Seriously. This is France. Is that English? Hmm, yeah. Very nice, but looks like tea. Oh. Little spaghetti noodle. A spaghetti noodle. <laughs> A little spaghetti poodle. Oh, Lord. I need another coffee. How much was that? Ten? Yeah. There's too much damage. And I like these two little mice here made in Japan. Are they five dollars each or for the pair each? Mm. That is a roller razor, yes. Yes, I saw that before they way back, like in the early 2000s. I remember having that. McDonald's. Salvador. Waterproof. Leather. Oh, okay. There's another. Heather Dale. Again, that's a face powder. $15 seems to be full as well. Oh, I like this. This is cute. 15. It's a little too much. $8 Bluebird. Um, do I have this? I think I do. Or I sold one. I can't remember, but this, this, I've seen before. But even that, at $8, it's too much. Here, velvet, no, violet, breath. Mint, $8, there's still some in it. Royal Derby. Gold tip. $12. Ay, ay, ay. Now, we have set of little black cats with the chain. Now, that's really cute. What's the price on those? Underneath? Nope. Oh, here it is. Oh, $35. No. Sorry. Just too much. This is cool. This is pottery that's made in what? Denmark? Denmark, I think. $30. Yeah, that's too much. Okay, this is some things that. That is so sweet. $8. That is so cute. Yeah, $8. I'm gonna take that. So that was eight, and this one's twelve. Ay ay ay. I like it, but it's just too much. It's too much. Even this one at eight is just barely. No, there's too much paint loss if it was perfect. Now this too, that's 25. That's too much too. Why does this remind me of an owl? <laughs> that's a very old transistor radio. Wow, $50 with the case. Hmm. Oh, I like this little turtle. Oh, it's a little dish. It's a little dish. How much is that? $50. Are you kidding me? Okay, no, that's too much. 
for me anyway. Some old cars, that too. Back in the year 2000, I had some sort of a arrangement with a gentleman and we sold many, many matchbox cars, mint in boxes. Patches, not my thing. What's this guy here? $25. I got my fingers in his eyes. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> See, if this was maybe 15, I would take it. But no, it's too much. That is very unusual. Oh, this is so high. And so expensive. <laughs> 33 it's retail so see I have one similar one for sale it's a souvenir from Hawaii it's oval shape it's already, already listed now this I saw in another boot see the original price was 169 15 dollars yeah poo poo oh he's still pond the beer is that a set? $40. Ooh. Is that Bailey? No, it's not the Bailey one. Doris Day? Is that who it is? I think that's Doris Day. Is it? Brittany Deluxe Toffee. I would think this is Doris Day. Maybe not. But anyway, $20. Dirty like this. Wow. With this mother of pearl. Anyway, very nice. And now we have vintage clothing articles. Wow. Look at those hats. Oh, I love that. So beautiful. Look at this one. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Wow. And then there's a nice nightgown. Oh my god, it's just a top. Look at this. This is so beautiful. $35. Many happy returns on your birthday. Happy birthday. Twelve dollars. Hmm. That's nice. Mr. Peanut. I wonder how much this is. I forgot to say that. What's the price on this? I've never seen the uh, plush, I well, won't plush, but stuffies of that. And what? No surprise on that. It's too bad. Muppets. Oh, still in package. I wonder if it's even. Ah, look at this though. The box is all stiff. Oh, that's too bad. Had that sold it. This is fantastic. From the 50s. How much? 125. <laughs> oh, I like those glasses. Wow. Cut to clear. Very nice. Hmm. How much is it for the set? I can't see. There's another nice tin here. Very Easter like. $35. Okay. What? Oh, okay. I thought he was made like that. <laughs> I was really. Oh, what? Okay. 
okay it goes here okay that makes sense so it's an order but fifteen dollars that's so cute and this inlay box is also very nice but 22 is too much the other ones too okay are these the glass ones they are okay I have those at home for myself but I know they sell for quite a bit of money however for $48 I'm not sure I'm willing to gamble on that very 1950s eight dollars it does have a lot of scratching and paint loss and this one here ne toussez plus prenez les chic de Bruxelles those are like past yeah, sorry those are like candies for uh to stop coughing at $55. I want to take the coffee. <laughs> Look at this rabbit. This rabbit, $20. I wonder. Does it work? It sure does. <laughs> for twenty dollars it's so much though very cute but i wouldn't pay more than oops okay stop stay 10 10 or 12 maybe for resale 50 dollars that's a very nice one mm. Nice vases. This is forty dollars. Very, very cool. In there, but there was jewelry from my mother. Very nice. So some of it was good. He just gave us back half of it. It wasn't any good. There's a. I don't know. I'm not sure enough. It is very thin actually. So there's a koi fish. $35. Yeah. <laughs> we have a mice, $20. And we have a duck, $35. Yeah. So, yeah, the prices are on point for what it is, but for collectors, not for resellers. Look at that entire set bread box and the canisters. Wow. $85. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you really never know. This is a beautiful egg with the fleur de lis on it. And then we have some more of the Expo 1967. They made a lot of uh, those metal ashtrays back then as a souvenir piece. Oh, the bowler. That is so cute. I love it. Ten dollars. <laughs> oh, look at this cat. That's cute. Mm, Sixty-five dollars. Cheers from the that five dollars is only one though. I would have taken it if they had two. Mm -hmm. Twenty dollars, that's very really nice too. It's different. each. I'm tempted. There's another 
roll razor. And this one here. What? Why is one ten, the other one is five? That's not right. Let's see. <laughs> five? Yeah. And this one's ten. Hello, hi. Are you see this poodle? Did I see this already? Fifteen dollars. <laughs> Japan. Oh, it's a pin cushion. As this one. Is it broken? It's very. I don't know. I'm not sure about that one. Okay. Okay. I think I will go to the cash now. After I look at this. 14. Okay. If I can get the other one for five, I would take those. Huh. This is a nice anchor hawking uh, uranium glass cup and saucer, and it has a block optic uh, pattern, very dainty, it dates from about the 1930s, early 40s, and look at this beautiful glow under UV light. I could not resist picking this up. You know, when you have this friend that you can joke and everything is in good fun. Well, this is a nice joke uh, that you could give to your half, you know what, friend. It's half a uh, toilet bowl. The bottom is uh, porcelain. The top is wood. And look at the friend going down the drain. This is hilarious. I think it's so funny. And uh, at the bottom here, you can see it is imported by Gift Crafts and has the Made in Japan stamp. Now this little bisque figurine of a baby playing golf uh, reminds me of a Cupid. I think it's so sweet with a yellow diaper and a gold uh, painted golf club. It also has a, a brass uh, pin um, that is connected to the diaper and uh, cute little eyelashes. It is stamped underneath that it is made in Japan. There seems to be a good amount of collectors uh, for uh, makeup boxes and jars, so I did not hesitate to take this one. It was in good condition, and uh, it is made by Antoine. I believe it probably was for cream, and the bottom is clear glass, and look at the top, this beautiful design on red, and uh, it is a stamp at the bottom uh, with, well, uh, it's like a mold, it says Antoine, and I thought it was really nice. Now, this vintage little kitschy cat, uh, white with the blue ribbon and hat, so lovely. And look at the face. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. So those, I looked online, and there are not that many available. And they are going for a good price. So this is something that I did mm -hmm. pick up, even though there was a tiny little hairline crack near the neck. But you can see here it's made in Japan. Although I do not collect uh, tins, I do pick them up uh, because I have a lot of uh, buyers that do collect. So this one I could not resist. This uh, cute 1950s or 60s girl holding a yellow chick and uh, the cover has minimal uh, scratching, a little bit of paint loss, but nothing major. And it is a toffee assortment made in England. Even the inside of the tin is in fairly good condition. A couple little dents, but that's it. This other little tin also attracted me. I don't know if it was the equestrian uh, theme or the burnt orange uh, color. Very, very nice condition. Very lovely box. It felt heavy and uh, I, I looked inside. I'll show you in a minute. But this one is made by Horner and I'm not sure exactly what was originally inside, but this is what was inside at the store. And I wasn't sure what it is, what it was, I should say, but uh, it is is from Blakey and they are uh, shoe or boots protectors. So I've learned something today. 
So at the end of my shopping trip, just beside the cache, I did pick up those two uh, vintage wood composite uh, Mickeys, or baby Mickeys. I thought they were very sweet uh, when playing with jam. The other one, I think, is uh, all got the jam all over the fingers. And I think they are part of a set of five or six pieces. But uh, I could not pass them up. They're very sweet, and uh, I think it's a nice uh, way to compliment a child's room looking at the faces I knew they were vintage so I ended up uh, picking them up